somebody imagined a cartoon character and then they brought him to life. Look at you. I'm Lindy and this is Tonka's story for GeoBeats. He's so beautiful. I'm the Wombat Coordinator with ACT Wildlife, a wildlife rescue and rehabilitation charity in Canberra, Australia. But hiccups. He got hiccups, baby. Tonka's mum was hit by a car and somebody stopped and checked the body and took him from her pouch. You really want your bottle? <laughs> I've had him now. About three and a half months. He was only 700 grams, about one and a half pounds when he was rescued. Okay. He was in a little baby's crib with lots of warm blankets. Every four hours around the clock, he would be given a bottle. And you're waiting. <laughs> he's now about six pounds. Now he's just on four bottles between 6.30 in the morning and 10.30 at night. I'll get you a bottle. He still stays very close to me. He doesn't go away from my side. Hi. If he had his mum, he'd still be in her pouch and at her feet all the time. We keep them as much as we can the way his mum would have. So this is where he's happiest. Snugged up, nice and tucked up in a little little ball. Hello, baby. If I haven't got much to do after his morning bottle, he might just stay snuggled up under my dressing gown for an hour or two, but he's asleep at that time. He's just having some body contact, which is really important for their emotional health. They need to have body contact the same as they would have from their mum. Once he starts to become more independent, he'll spend more time walking around. That's the boy. He still doesn't walk on the grass. He's not ready for that yet. Once he starts to be big enough to spend time outside, I'll have to be out there with him. So I'll just take a blanket and sit down on the ground and stay with him while he does a bit of grazing. He thinks I'm his mama. Anything at all he chews, and they're just relentless chewers. <laughs> When he's burrowing as a big wombat, he'll be chewing through tree roots that are in his way. That's just that's what they do. He's, he's so fat. Look at that. Ow. He bites pretty hard. It's not so much the force of his teeth, it's that he bites with a, a big, powerful lunge behind it. <laughs> he's becoming a typical little boy, very pushy and active. Being a sausage. He's sleek, but he's muscular. Incredibly dense body. He's got this... Very solid rump, which has got a cartilage plate there that's his protection. When he's bigger, he'll use that to protect himself against attacks. By the time he's 15 or 18 months old, I won't see him at all. He'll be fully nocturnal. I'll go and clean his space up during the day while he's asleep in his burrow. It's a gradual process of reducing contact so they can become independent. This is an 18 to 20 month commitment. A great privilege to be able to do this. He's a wild animal and I'll enjoy this now because once he's 20 kilos, he won't like me at all.